The CNMI is in a panic today after a word came down last night that the CW cap will be drastically reduced for the 2018 fiscal year. Jackie Ray is in the field to find out how this will impact our economy as well as the lives of CW workers. Thanks, Sherry. And as you mentioned, there is a sense of panic today as the contract workers have been reduced from 12,998 down to 9,998 for the 2018 fiscal year. You may also recall Governor Ralph Torres was confident we could avoid this very situation based on his relationship and promises made to him by President Trump. I spoke with the governor today and he says the president can only operate within the confines of the law. That's a legislature thing, right? So, yeah, if they're going to reduce it by, what, one, and then next year be reduced by 10,000, it's still got to change, right? So what they're saying is that it, you need to start phasing it out because it's, nothing has been done in the last eight years. And you can't put on the 11th hour that all of a sudden, uh, what's my relationship, but that it's a law. Congressman Khalili Sablam believes the CNMI is the latest casualty of Trump's longstanding position. First, elections have consequences. As a candidate, Mr. Trump promised to get tough on immigration and protect American workers. And everyone who supported him heard him say that. Representative Angel Demapon disagrees and says the CW issue should have been addressed within the last eight years. Our business community leaders from the chamber and from the Hotel Association went for the past uh, eight years uh, since the inception of Public Law 10 229 our business leaders have asked uh, for legislation to restore the Secretary of Labor's discretionary authority uh, to determine uh, our grant and extension of the transition period and, and to determine what the, the um, more conducive cap limit should be. In 2014, Congressman Sablan agreed to terms that would allow contract workers to extend through 2019. Part of that agreement included removing Secretary of Labor's discretionary authority. Representative Demapon says that authority could have prevented the CW crisis. Absolutely, because we all don't think that it should be reduced by more than one. Uh, but the fact of the matter is there's an existing federal law that has been there since 2008. And the only other person that's been there since 2008 from the Commonwealth is our congressman. And so what has he done since 2008 to make sure that this faulty law in Public Law 110-229 was changed? Congressman Sablan says legislation is all about negotiations, and removing the secretary's authority was necessary to maintain the Chinese tourism industry. In order to continue the bar and asylum for another five years, a Repub Republican senator insisted on taking away the Secretary of Labor's authority. We fought the bar and asylum. The Marianas could potentially lose all of our Chinese and Russian tourists who enter our border by parole. So the choice was lose half of our tourists today or let Congress make the decision to extend the transition period beyond 2019. Sablan commended Governor Torres on his efforts to create a dialogue that would help extend the CW cap. So no one should be surprised that the Trump administration is cutting back on foreign workers in the Marianas. I do think we have to give the governor credit for convincing the president to only cut 3,000 this year. The governor met with the president and his top advisors many times. He says he hopes he and Governor Torres can work together to find a solution. However, Torres says that solution should not solely depend on his relationship with the president. I just want the community to know that there's a big difference between my relationship with the president, endorsing the president, and what our congressman Kilili, and that position. That's a federal position. That is his obligation. He or she holds that position. It's their obligation to go to the Capitol and fight for our people. It's not mine. Now, obviously, this is a very urgent situation. And when I spoke with Congressman Sablon today, I asked him if he was hoping for the best but preparing for the worst. And he said, absolutely not. He's confident that he and his team can get a bill passed that would allow for an extension for contract workers. And he's willing to work with Governor Torres and legislature to get that done. Sherry, back to you.